Hey guys, I've crashed my mountain bike. I've broke my hand. I've uh, never broke a bone before in my life, and <laughs> I've been riding mountain bikes for 26, 27, 28 years maybe. Uh, I don't do a ton of mountain bike riding. I do a lot more road bike riding. I've lost a lot of skin road biking. I have been hurt a lot mountain biking, but never seriously hurt. I've never broken a bone. So I was riding at a place called the Ruby, and there was a large washed out area. The trail was kind of hanging off to the side, sort of like a, a ledge. And the washed out area is probably like around two foot and a half, two foot deep, but it was very sharply downhill. And so when I fell, the wash, this little trail kind of crumbled underneath me. I'd, I'd kind of loaded up my front of my bike to lift over a little uh, thing in the trail and the trail just kind of crumbled underneath me. When I loaded up the front, I just kept going down. And so when I fell, I fell a couple feet to the right down into this ditch, but also very sharply downhill. So it was a long way down. I got my hand out in front of me, which was probably a mistake, but I got my hand out in front of me. I held up, I caught a lot of my body weight and I must have really absorbed so much impact with my hand because I don't even have a scratch anywhere else on me. I kind of landed on my chest. It was dirty, but it didn't hurt it. I didn't like get the wind knocked on me, anything. I didn't hit my helmet, didn't hit, you know, I had like a one little scratch on my knee, barely there. But the hand, as soon as I kind of stopped myself with my hand, I felt it kind of twist almost and then fold. And if you've never broken a bone, the feeling was sort of like, like a shock wave went through my body, you know, focus there at the hand. Um, I knew it was wrong. I grabbed it, kind of moved it around. I could move it. It was sore to move, but not terrible. Uh, and then I could, I could see a lump forming on the back of my hand, which turned out to be the broken metacarpal bone. Uh, I was able to ride my bike, not really on trails because I couldn't use my brake and I, but I could put my hand on the handlebar, especially I could use my bar ends. I have little bar ends and I could use those bar ends to put most of my weight kind of on this part of my hand. And so I rode several miles of gravel road back to where we parked. And um, I was with a few guys. They figured I had maybe dislocated my finger. Uh, it's rare to break bones at the speeds we ride. You know, we're not riding that fast and typically you don't fall that, fall, fall that far. So... I don't think anybody suspect, suspected that I had actually broken a bone, but it was definitely possible. So, um, I wanted to kind of talk just a little bit about what I did next, and then I definitely need to thank a few people or talk about Sean Doe. So, um, the next morning, Monday morning, I made an appointment to go get an x-ray at my, the clinic I go to, El Dorado Clinic. I, they took the x-ray, come back and said, you've broken your bone, we've got to immobilize it, put this big goofy cast thing on my hand, kind of like this, but it went way back farther. Um, that was Tuesday, that was Monday, Tuesday, uh, I called over to Tri-State Orthopedics in Evansville, Illinois, uh, they have an urgent care I was supposed to get a referral somewhere, but I didn't really want to wait on that. And I wasn't sure. They said it would probably be at Tri-State. I called, they hadn't received a referral yet. So they just said, come over to our urgent care. So I got there, Shauna has been through them um, a couple times and it's gone really well for her. So I get to their um, urgent care. I get seen pretty quickly. Dr. Carter come in with um, the x-ray, showed me the picture he said you, you know you've got a you could we could put a cast on this he said it's probably not going to heal in four weeks we'd see how well it's going to heal he said more than likely you'd have well your your fingers or one finger is about a quarter inch shorter which is really funny if i put both fingers together and you know now they're this one's still a little bit short but it's a nah, it's about right but beforehand it was way shorter than the other one um he said, your other option is we do surgery. Um, I go in, I put a plate, some screws to hold that bone together. Uh, you won't need a cast. Instead, you'll have a splint. Um, that'll put it in the right orientation to heal correctly. He said, you should be 100%. Um, 
he did name the risks. There was, you know, risk of infection. Um, there were some other risks, but <laughs> I think it was basically like risk of infection um, was the number one, you know, thing about doing a surgery. Um, he said they were pretty minor. He said, I would definitely get the surgery. He said, it's going to be a lot better healed if you do the surgery. In two weeks, you can start kind of using that finger a little bit, stretching it, moving it. And he said, in four weeks, you can um, start um, basically going back to regular usage of that hand with maybe just a little bit of pain. So... The really surprising thing was, he says, I can do the surgery tomorrow. That was yesterday. So yesterday, went to uh, their surgery center, and I've been under a few times for a couple different things, but never an actual surgery. Um, and I've never had a, a blockage, a nerve block, and that was a really wild experience. So uh, it's been about 24 hours since the surgery. And my arm would not, after the surgery, this arm would not move. Like, and you couldn't even feel it. There was from, from the shoulder up, there was absolutely no movement whatsoever. Um, no, no touch, no feeling. It was like, basically like somebody had sewed something onto my, onto my shoulder. Like it, it felt dead. Um, and that was really strange. Once uh, it was in a sling and I walked into... Um, the gas station, I think, on the way home, and it fell out of the sling, and I didn't even realize it until I felt it bumping against my leg. Um, it just seems like almost like you're carrying, like it felt like you were carrying your hand, like it's not part of your body, and that was really strange. Um, about four hours ago or so, around one, two o'clock, I started feeling, started feeling, I could kind of move my hand. At first, that was hilarious because you move your hand around, and it really won't do what you want it to do. It's like you kind of reminds you of like a baby trying to learn to move. And you're like, uh, 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 uh. you'd lift it up and it just kind of randomly fall, you know, and kind of like holding it up. You couldn't really hold it up very long. Uh, even now, the strength's not all the way back. Like it's kind of like it feels hard to lift it up very high. It's pretty sore all through here. Um, but. Pain-wise, you know, they, they wanted you to start on pain pills. I've had very little pain. I can feel it now. There's definitely pain there, but I would say it's like a one or a two, you know, and it's probably going to get worse. But the wild thing was is I did not have any real pain before the surgery. I did lesson plans for a couple days that I was, you know, and I was, before I had that splint um, and before I had that big cast, I could type with both hands and I could type with this finger, but it just, you know, it kind of hurt. The crazy thing about it being broken was whenever I tried to use that finger, I could feel the bones inside there moving around like clunk, 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 clunk. And it was really awkward. So hopefully in a couple weeks, I'm hoping that, you know, this is a lot better. Uh, and in four weeks, I can get back to riding. I probably needed a break from riding anyway, even though I haven't been riding much because of work. But um, I want to take a minute think my bike buddies uh they've had i had so many texts and phone calls from from people um and you know that's pretty awesome you know that they're worried about you and uh want to see you be able to get back and ride with them again and i really gotta especially thank shauna um my wonderful wife shondo she has uh really gone above and beyond helping me out, taking care of me, spent three days driving me to Evansville, basically went to work, come home, drove me to Evansville, waited uh, through all these appointments and um, basically made sure that everything went real smoothly for me. So don't know what a person would do, you know, like if you're on your own, and you, you, you know, you, I don't know what you do. You'd have to hire a caretaker or something. Um, this whole day i haven't been able to use this hand at all you know i had to have everything like i couldn't you know it was just hanging you know uh couldn't even like like if i wanted to hold something like a jar and open it you know i couldn't like do this it was just like completely useless so need a lot of extra help but um i definitely look forward to getting back riding again 
and I'm definitely getting some different mountain bike shoes because my mountain bike shoes, while they really had nothing to do with this crash in a way, they kind of they kind of were the cause of it because my mountain bike shoes that I ride, they're cities and they're really great fit, but they're really plasticky on the bottom. They don't really have much in the way of rubber and grip and they're not, they're really, I don't sit, they're just not, they don't seem to have enough sole on the bottom. So whenever I walk, they're kind of crappy to walk in. And the number one reason I didn't go ahead and clip out and walk down into that ravine and, or that little drain, that, that washout and just walk through direct, cause that trail looks sketchy to me, but I, I didn't want to clip out and walk again in these shoes. Cause they're not, they're just, they're not, they don't feel very safe to walk in, you know, they're so, especially on rocks and stuff. So I think I'm going to get some Shawnee mountain bike shoes, something a little bit more, uh, more like a boot maybe uh <laughs> and and try that but uh anyway guys see you later